now we're going to see what the other students said and we will make our own charts and graphs in Google Sheets. So first let's get our data. We have to go back to Google Forms. and then find the form that you created. I'm going to use the data that we had from the survey of personalities that you all answered. So when I first click in, I see the questions that I asked you, but that's not what I want to see. I want to see the data. So here we go back to the responses. So I click on responses. And here are the charts that I showed you the other day. So there's a pie chart, here's a bar graph, different kinds of data. Um, it turns out that Google Forms decided to show categories in a pie chart, so discrete data, and they tried to use a bar graph to show continuous data here, like how many a time, how much time you spend watching screens and so on. But we're going to try and do something different. It doesn't allow you to change what these graphs look like from the screen, so let's see if we can get some more control using Google Sheets. Now, you can see your responses in a Google Sheet clicking on this green button here. Here it is as a sheet, all of your responses. So the question is at the top. Here's the one that said, if you could choose a superpower, what would it be? Here's how many hours of screen time. I'm going to look at this data here. Actually, I'll look at how many cookies because that's more delicious. So we're going to select this whole column, including the title. Once I have all the data selected, I'll go to insert, chart. Now, Google Sheets has already created a bar graph for us here. However, I want to see it as a line graph. So I'm going to go over here to my chart editor, and I'm going to go down to my option here for line graph. So here's the title of my graph, how many cookies could you eat in one setting, and I could change that. I could say number of cookies, students. And actually, I should have all capitals except for those little small words like of or the eat in one sitting. And then over here, I'm going to change this title. I'm going to say number of cookies. And it doesn't allow me to add a label on this part, this part here, but I don't think it's necessary at this point. Um, okay, now I'm going to look at another column of data. I'm going to look at something that has categories. So I'm going to move this chart down here so I can see my data underneath. I'm going to check this which pet best suits your personality column. So I'm going to select the data in the column, including the title. And I'll go to Insert and go to Chart. And here it has a line chart. Now, a line chart doesn't really show the best data. I don't like how it compares the different uh, categories. I would rather have a pie chart, I think, for this one. Or maybe a bar graph. I feel like it really is evident when I use a bar graph to see that the dog was the most popular choice for describing the personality. So again, I'm going to move the data, the, the chart down below my spreadsheet. So now that I've created uh, these two uh, charts, you're going to share it with your teacher. So I'll put share and then you'll enter Ms. Chabot and Ms. Kauji so that we know that you have created your charts and collected your data. And that is how you complete your assignment.